Welcome to Learn Right Biology. This lesson treats orientation in biology. Orientation in biology. Orientation in biology means how the body is positioned or the direction in which it lies. Orientation is also talking about the position of an organism where maybe certain features are attached to. That's orientation. This topic is going to enrich your vocabulary in biology where you need certain biological terms, drop certain biological terms and uh, your biology so that you examiner will understand what you are talking about. Okay? This topic will help you be able to distinguish between two organisms. If you know orientation, a particular position of the body where a particular feature is attached to. Okay? Now, organism has five types of orientation. Whether you are considering it from the head end, the tail end, that's the second one, then the side, then the back, then the ventra. So if you want to look at tilapia from the head end, it's referred to as anterior. And the tail end is a posterior. What about the back? We're looking at it from the back end. That is the dorsal. So don't forget the front, the anterior end, that is the head. The tail end, that is the posterior. The back is the dorsal. The side is lateral. Then the belly or underside. This is the ventral. Don't forget belly or underside. That is a ventral view of tilapia. Which view of mine can you see on the screen? Is it my anterior view or my ventral view? It's my ventral. Because this is my belly. That is why you have to be very particular about this. This is my belly. But for tilapia, the belly is uh, the underside. But for human beings, your belly is not underside. You can also have an, make it an underside if you want to, you know, lie on your bed. Upside down, then your underside is now your belly. So that's your ventral view. Okay? Now, why are you doing all this at all? It's very important as a biologist. This type of vocabulary will help you to differentiate between two organisms the shape of the organisms. If you look at tilapia, it's a flat, somehow flat organisms. How flat is it? Look at the cockroach. Cockroach is also flat. The flatness of the cockroach is said to be dosoventral. So the cockroach is dosoventrally flattened. What is the meaning of that? The dosal part and the ventral part. Dosoventrally flattened. What about tilapia? These are two lateral sides. So you say it's laterally flattened. This topic also helps you to describe the adaptive features of organisms. For instance, the cockroach is said to be dosoventrally flattened. Very soon, we'll be treating cockroach as a topic. An adaptive feature of the cockroach helps it to en uh, escape danger so that you don't kill it. Because it is uh, dosoventrally flattened, it can pass through narrow places where organisms such as grasshopper cannot pass through because of the flat nature of the organisms. It can also help you to describe the external features of an organism in the examination room. The examiner asks you to describe the structure of uh, tilapia. What don't you say is uh, laterally flattened? Okay, to any one point. Okay. Let's look at some questions. The questions are on your screen. Question one. 
State the orientation of specimen in each of the following diagrams. State the orientation of specimens in each of the following diagrams. On your screen, we have specimen A, B, C, and D. Specimen A, B, C, and D. Specimen A is a diagram of centipede. Specimen B is a diagram of vertebra. Vertebra is a bone in the vertebra column of a mama. Specimen C is grasshopper and D is butterfly. Let's solve the question. Specimen A is the dozer view. Specimen B is the lateral view because you are looking at the bone from the side. Specimen C is also the lateral view of grasshopper. And D is a dozer view. Why do we say D is a dozer view? Because you cannot see the legs, where the legs are attached. So you realize that the legs are on the other side that you cannot see. So D is a dozer view. Question two. Use the diagrams of cockroach on the screen to answer the following questions. So you can see two diagrams of the cockroach there. The first one is the ventral view, and the second one is the dozer view. Use the diagram to solve the questions. Let's look at the A, question A. Name one feature which is present in the ventral view of the head of the cockroach, but absent in the dozer side. One feature which is present in the ventral side of the head of cockroach, but absent in the dozer side. You know, the cockroach is having a head, like you're also having a head. But you have to be able to know, this is very important, it's an important topic in the practical, where examiner may ask you to name features that are found on certain part of the organism. If you don't take time, you just give an answer that will not earn a point. So if you look at the head of the cockroach, the diagram A is giving us the ventral view of the cockroach. So the head part of the diagram, you can see the mouth part. And now we have the labium and the labrum. We have jaw. So any of the answer is correct. So the answer there is a labrum. That is the upper lip of the cockroach. Let's look at a big part of the question. Name one observable feature on the ventral side of the thoracic segment of the cockroach. Name one feature that is observable on the ventral side of the thoracic segments of the cockroach. Yeah. So if you look at the thoracic segment of the cockroach, you know, all insects are made up of three body parts. So we have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So where the legs are attacked, that is a thoracic region. If you look at the two diagrams, if you look at the two diagrams, you know, the one that is showing the ventral view of the cockroach, you can see some components of the organism, some features attached to the thoracic part. And you can see the legs. You can also see the legs on the second diagram, the dozer view, but you cannot see certain parts of the leg. No, the leg is made up of How about lateral side? So this is my lateral side. I hope you can see my ear. Yeah, so you can see the ear. 
Four, name the position of eyes in each of the following organisms. I, monkey or human. The eye, eye, bird. Then B, give one biological significance each of AI and AI above. Let's look at the answers. Name the position of eyes in each of the following organism. So if you look at a monkey, a human being, the eyes are ventrally placed. They are in front. Eyes are in front. Unlike eyes in base, that are laterally placed. So you have solved the two questions, the eye and eye eye. So position of eyes on human being, ventral, then bed is lateral. Let's move on to the B part. Give one biological significance each of this. In biology, we say significance. It means it is an issue that you biologists understand. Ordinary person may not understand. And you can explain why nature has uh, designed organism so. That is the meaning of biological significance. So biological significance of position of eye in human being. Why are you even interested in this? Significance for the position of eye in human being is that uh, because the eyes are placed ventrally, this narrows the field of view of human being. Which means, for instance, if something is coming behind you, okay, you have to turn before you see the thing coming behind you. So our field of view is narrow. But that of bed is wide. You know, it has a wider field of view because the eyes are laterally placed. Okay, so the biological significance of an eye is that because the eyes are ventrally placed, a monkey or human being has a mobile uh, head. The head can turn and look back. Right? What about that of a bird? Because the eyes are laterally placed, it gives the bird a wide field of view. You know, a bird is one of the animals that you know has a very high speed. It can fly very fast. Sometime in the forest. So for it not to hit obstacles, there's a need for it to have a wider field of view. I hope you've understood the topic. We have five types of uh, orientation. We have anterior view, which is the head end. Posterior, which is the tail end. Then the dozer, which is the back. Then we have the ventral, which is the belly or underside. Then a lateral, that's the side. Keep on watching, learn right biology. If you have any information, or if you have any question to ask, contact Lane Right Biology, you get better understanding. Thank you.